हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs for 1st of november the session will be quite interesting so do pay attention till the end so let's start आगे बढ़ने से पहले फ्रेंड्स मैं देख रहा हूँ बहुत बच्चे हमारे ऐसे हैं जो हमारी डेली बेसिस पे वीडियो देखते हैं लेकिन उन्होंने अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया हुआ है तो सबसे पहला काम आप सभी के लिए मैं बोलूँगा कि वीडियो को पॉज करो यहीं पे रुक जाओ जाके हमारे चैनल को अभी नीचे सब्सक्राइब करो जल्दी से जल्दी एंड अपने दोस्तों को भी बताओ इस चैनल के बारे में कि अफेयर्स क्लाउड कितना एक बेस्ट सॉल्यूशन है आपके करंट अफेयर्स के लिए जहाँ पे हम एकदम इंटरेक्टिव वे में डेली बेसिस पे आपको करंट अफेयर्स प्रोवाइड कराते हैं एंड इसी के साथ साथ आप हमारे चैनल पे भी देख सकते हैं आप हमारे एप्लीकेशन पे भी जाके देख सकते हैं कि हमारा कंटेंट वन ऑफ द बेस्ट कॉन्टेंट रहता है तो चलिए स्टार्ट करें द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच एडिशन ऑफ अर्बन मोबिलिटी इंडिया कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड एग्जीबिशन वॉज हेल्ड इन न्यू डेली रिमेंबर रिसेंटली इट वॉज द सिक्सटीन एडिशन of urban mobility india conference and exhibition 2023 that was held in new delhi correct and this exhibition and conference was in collaboration with institute of urban transport and with the support of dmrc that is delhi metro rail corporation the event took place from 27th till 29th of october and where was it location is maneksha center that is in delhi kent in new delhi right this was your urban mobility india and indian mobility conference and exhibition then next thing can be asked that this was inaugurated by whom this conference or exhibition was inaugurated by hardeep singh puri ji right then what is the theme on which this particular exhibition was based the theme is integrated and resilient urban transport this is the theme for the urban mobility india conference and exhibition held in new delhi of which this was your 16th edition here you can see hardeep singh puri he inaugurated this mobile urban mobility india conference and exhibition it is the 6th edition of it location where was this held at maneksha center in new delhi and this was held with the help of Institute of Urban Transport with the support of DMRC that is Delhi Metro Rail Corporation and it was from 27th to 29th of October. Next, India lost over 30 million hectares of healthy land due degradation in the last 4 years. Right? I repeat because of the degradation and because of the unhealthy practices that we are going on not this degradation of land can be with multiple reasons, right? First proper nutrients to the soil was not provided then another reason can be deforestation 
नेक्स्ट थिंग कैन बी यूज ऑफ केमिकल्स इन द लैंड बर्निंग ऑफ द अपर लेयर ऑफ द सॉइल ऑल दीज थिंग्स कैन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू द डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ द लैंड करेक्ट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू अ रिपोर्ट दैट वॉज रिसेंटली रिलीज बाई यू एन सी सी डी दैट इज यूनाइटेड नेशंस कन्वेंशन टू कॉम्बैक्ट डेजर्टिफिकेशन द फर्स्ट डाटा डैशबोर्ड सजेस्टेड दैट अराउंड थर्टी पॉइंट फाइव वन मिलियन हेक्टेयर्स ऑफ हेल्थी लैंड इन इंडिया वॉज डिग्रेडेड बिटवीन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन टिल टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन राइट मार्क दिस डाटा दैट इज अराउंड नाइन पॉइंट फोर फाइव परसेंट ऑफ इंडियाज लैंड मार्स वॉज डिग्रेडेड एज ऑफ टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एंड दिस वॉज फोर पॉइंट फोर टू परसेंट इन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन इंडियाज टोटल डिग्रेडेड लैंड इज इक्वेंट टू द साइज ऑफ फोर्टी थ्री मिलियन फुटबॉल पिचेज एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू यू एन सी सी डी डाटा बिटवीन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन एंड टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन द वर्ल्ड लॉस्ट एटलीस्ट हंड्रेड मिलियन हेक्टेयर्स ऑफ हेल्थी लैंड एंड प्रोडक्टिव लैंड एवरी ईयर करेक्ट then there is a national mission for a green india this national mission for green india is one of the eight missions under the national action plan and it is to car target or basically it is to the aim of this is to protect restore and enhance the forest cover and respond to the climate change that is your national mission for a green india next who received global leadership award for philanthropy so remember recently global leadership award for philanthropy and corporate social responsibility was honored to neeta ambani correct as you can see here in the picture here neeta ambani was awarded with the global leadership award for philanthropy and corporate social responsibility she was awarded by whom usi एस पी एफ वॉट इज दिस दिस इज यू एस इंडिया स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप फॉरम दिस वॉज एन इवेंट दैट वॉज हेल्ड इन न्यू डेली द अवार्ड वॉज प्रेजेंटेड बाय जॉन चेंबर्स एंड एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर हेयर ही इज जॉन चेंबर्स ही इज द चेयरमैन ऑफ यू एस आई एस पी एफ हु अवॉर्डेड दिस अवार्ड टू नीता अंबानी ऑल्सो नीता अंबानी रिसीव द अवार्ड फॉर हर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टूवर्ड्स वीमेन एम्पावरमेंट supporting education promoting indian arts and culture and developing sports in india right then remember all we talk about neeta ambani she is the founder and chairperson of reliance foundation the philanthropic arm of reliance industries limited and in 2016 she became the first indian woman she became the first indian woman to be elected as the member of ioc member of international olympic committee correct she led the indian delegation that won the bid to host the 141st ioc session that was held in mumbai maharashtra correct mark this next next is balan dior awards that were recently presented in which sport do we present this award this is presented in football and recently balan dior awards were presented they were the 67th edition of the balan dior awards they were presented in both men's and women's category question asked here is that in men's category who won balan dior award so lionel messi he is from uh, he is from argentina and he has recently won the balan dior award and this was the 67th balan dior award and apart from this remember it was 8th balan dior award for lionel messi correct eighth balan dior award and here you can see for the men's he will be messi and for women if we talk about who won the women balan dior award so remember balan dior award for men was won by lionel messi and for women aitana bonmati she is from spain she plays for football club barcelona and she has been or she was awarded or she has won the Balan Dior Award, correct. Important. Take a note of it. Then, apart from this, remember this was the fifth edition of the Balan Dior Award for women. Correct. Balan Dior Award for women was started in two thousand eighteen, and it was the fifth edition that was presented to Aitana Bonmati, as you can see her in the picture, and she is from Spain. 
right so coming back 67th edition of the ballon d'or award were held in 2023 october in paris france and this ballon d'or award is annually presented by the french magazine that is france football since 1956 it was awarded based on the achievement from the past season next next is professor sarang dio of isb that is indian school of business has been appointed as the member of the strategic and technical advisory group for tuberculosis by world health organization so who has been appointed as a member of strategic and technology uh, technical advisory group for tb tb is a disease that affects your lungs by who so who was appointed here professor sarang dio he is the professor of operation management at indian school of business he will be a part of 15 member expert group responsible for independently evaluating the who's effort in eradicating tuber clauses then this 15 member group will be chaired by ethel leonard maciel right he will be chairing this 15 member group that was set up by who and it is a strategic and technical advisory group for tuber clauses correct next next is author chetan bhagat has been named as the brand ambassador brand ambassador of a tech startup that is henry harvin education henry harvin education that is h h e this is an online platform providing 800 plus programs for upskilling and reskilling that serves as a career and competency development organization HHE provides training and advisory services to corporates and colleges across the world and noted work some important and noted works of chetan bhagat here are five point someone the three mistakes of my life two states and what young india wants these are some of the works done by chetan bhagat and coming back Chetan Bhagat was named as the brand ambassador of Henry Harbin Education. If we talk about Henry Harbin Education, Kunal Gupta is the founder and chief executive officer, headquarters in Noida, UP. Next, next is the board of AU Small Finance Bank and Fincare Small Finance Bank has approved an all stock merger of AU Small Finance Bank and Fincare Small Finance Bank. This will be done under section 44A of the Banking and Regulation Act of 1949. AU Small Finance Bank will acquire Fincare Small Finance Bank in an all stock transaction valued at 4,411 crore rupees. The merger aims to expand the AU Small Finance Bank's reach in southern part of India and enter microfinance sector. This amalgamation will come effect from 1st of Feb in 2024 or such other dates as may be fixed mutually correct so coming back au small finance bank they will acquire fincare small finance bank in an all stock transaction valued at 4411 crore rupees and the merger aims to expand the au small finance bank's reach in southern part of india and enter microfinance sector next if we talk about AU Small Finance Bank, who is Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer Sanjay Agarwal, headquarters in Jaipur, Rajasthan. It was established in 1996. And if we talk about Fincare Small Finance Bank, MD and CEO is Rajiv Yadav, headquarters Bangalore, Karnataka, and it was established in 2017. Moving on, next, China proved the world's first passenger carrying flying taxi has approved the world's first passenger carrying flying taxi and what is the name of this flying taxi correct that is ehang 216 right eh216 as this is the name of the uh, flying taxi that was recently approved by china and chinese drone startup ehang has received this type certificate ehang 216 this to its electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft from civil aviation administration Correct. With this EH216S, it became the first vert EV vertical takeoff and landing vehicle in the world that to be cleared for commercial use. So directly remember this EH216S. This is the name of the world's first passenger carrying flying taxi that was approved by China. And what is the startup that they have launched this EHANG? Next, a new mushroom species has been discovered in the Western Ghats of in Kerala. So in Western Ghats, Kerala, a new species of mushroom has been discovered and the name of this new mushroom species is K. 
कैंडोलीमाइसिस एल्बोस कुआमोसस राइट आई रिपीट कैंडोलीमाइसिस एल्बोस कुआमोसकस दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द न्यू स्पीशीज ऑफ मशरूम दैट वॉज रिसेंटली डिस्कवर्ड बाय द साइंटिस्ट एट जवाहरलाल नेहरू ट्रॉपिकल बॉटेनिकल गार्डन एंड रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट आई रिपीट जवाहरलाल नेहरू ट्रॉपिकल बॉटेनिक गार्डन एंड इंस्टीट्यूट द साइंटिस्ट ऑफ दिस रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट डिस्कवर्ड दिस न्यू स्पीशीज ऑफ मशरूम ऑन द कैंपस ऑफ दिस इंस्टीट्यूट इन त्रिवंतपुरम केरला करेक्ट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज मैक्स व स्टेपन सेट्स अनदर एफ वन रिकॉर्ड विद ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री मैक्सिमन मैक्सिकन ग्रैंड पिक्स वेन सो मैक्स व स्टेपन ही इज डच ड्राइवर he drives for red bull and he has recently won the f1 mexico city grand prix right this was held from 27 to 29th of october and this marks max verstappen's third consecutive win this marks max verstappen's third consecutive win at the mexico grand prix including his win in 2021 2022 and now in 2023 This win also marks Verstappen's 16th win out of 19 races of 2023 season and Max Verstappen broke his own record for the most F1 victories in a single season in 2023 by winning 16 races. His pre- previous record was 15 victories that was set in 2022 season and now Max Verstappen has won 16 races in a or 16 wins in a particular season or in a particular year. If we talk about Mexican GP Who won here? Max Verstappen on first, Lewis Hamilton second, and Charles Leclerc on the third position. Next is your important days. National Unity Day. It is observed on thirty first of October, and this day, National Unity Day or Rashtri Ekta Divas, annually observed on thirty first of October to commemorate the birth anniversary of Iron Man of India. Who is the Iron Man of India? Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. Correct, and he was the first deputy prime minister and home minister of independent India from nineteen forty seven to nineteen fifty. And this year, twenty twenty three, it marks hundred and forty eight birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. Then remember, the first ever National Unity Day was observed in the year two thousand fourteen. Next, next is World Cities Day. This day is observed on thirty first of October, and this year it was the tenth edition of this World Cities Day observed. it is to promote international communities interest in global urbanization push for global cooperation in sustainable urban development and contribute to sustainable urban development worldwide then there is a theme that is financing sustainable urban future for all this is the theme for the world cities day then this was first observed in the year 2014 Next World Savings Day this day is observed on 31st of October and it is to raise awareness regarding the importance of saving and financial security of individuals India observes this World Savings Day on 30th of October every year that marks the death anniversary of Indira Gandhi who was the former third prime minister of India correct and there is a theme that is conquer your tomorrow for the world savings day observed on 31st of october this day was first observed in 1924 next world occupational therapy day this day is observed on 27th of october and it is to promote the mission and goals of occupational therapy occupational therapy is a client centric i repeat occupational therapy this is a client centric health profession that promotes health and well being through work and the major purpose of occupational therapy is to enable people to engage in everyday activities what is the theme of this world occupational therapy day unity through community next next is some state news friends recently west bengal governor ananda bose was awarded the inaugural durga bharat samman i repeat recently west bengal governor cv ananda bose cv ananda Bose governor of West Bengal was presented with the inaugural Durga Bharat Samman during the event organized at Raj Bhavan in Kolkata West Bengal during this event he formally launched Mission Kala Kranti that is an initiative that is aimed at promoting the art and culture of West Bengal in India and the government of West Bengal has also organized the Durga Puja Carnival showcasing iconic idols of goddess Durga so these two things are important first that is cv ananda bose was presented with the inaugural durga bharat samman durga bharat
some man and then remember during this mission kala kranti was also launched by him and durga puja carnival was also launched this durga bharat uh, param samman was also presented right mark this also next next is mera hou chongba festival this mera hou chongba festival was celebrated in which state in manipur important take a note of it so manipur celebrated this annual mera hou chongba festival this is a annual cultural festival of solidarity in manipur and then remember this event was organized by mera hou chongba thousil lop right then manipur's chief minister n biren singh along with the king of manipur lishamba sanjogba attended this event and this particular festival marks the oneness of the growth of nationalism in manipur and celebrates the bond of brotherhood love and unity correct so mera hou chongba festival is observed in manipur these were your important current affairs for the day friends now let's go for a quick one liner revision 16th edition of urban mobility india conference and exhibition held in new delhi UNCCD's data that India lost 30.51 million hectare of land of healthy land to degradation from 2015 to 19. USISPF honored Neeta Ambani with 2023 Global Leadership Award for Philanthropy and CSR. 67th Ballon d'Or Award was presented to Argentina's Lionel Messi for the eighth time. And then remember, apart from this, Bonmati received the Ballon d'Or Award for Women. then professor sarang dio of isb appointed as who's advisory group for tb member of this advisory group for tb then author chetan bhagat named as the brand ambassador of edtech startup henry harvin education fincare small finance bank will be merging with au small finance bank in all share deal next china has approved the world's first passenger carrying flying taxi yangs eh216s then candomyces this is the name of the new species discovered from western ghats in kerala Red Bull's Max Verstappen has won the F1 Mexico City Grand Prix 2023. National Unity Day that is your Rashtriya Ekta Divas observed on 31st October. World Cities Day 31st October. World Savings Day 31st October. World Occupational Therapy Day on 27th of October. And West Bengal's Governor Ananda Bose was awarded with the inaugural Durga Bharat Samman. And Manipur celebrated this annual Mera Hou Chongba Festival. So these are your important current affairs for the day. We have done a quite good revision, friends. Now let's move to some other revision current affairs for the past day and week. Next, next remember three Indian technology expert has been named in the thirty nine member UN high level advisory board on AI. I repeat, recently UN Security General Antonio Guterres revealed the formation of a thirty nine member high level multi task holder advisory board on AI in New York, USA. And here three Indian technology experts. They are. Amandeep Singh Gill, right? Nazneen Rajani and Sharad Sharma. Correct. These are the three Indian technology experts who has been named in the new body that has been found for AI. That is a thirty-nine member high-level multi-task, multi-stakeholder advisory board on artificial. intelligence this board will support the international community's efforts to govern the ai and its member list comprises experts from the government private sector research community and civil society and various academic institutions correct so mark this important things to remember three indian scientists 39 member committee was set up and it was set up by antonio gutters who is the secretary general of un next next we are talking about science and technology recently india's hall that is hindustan aeronautics limited and safran aircraft engines that is a french aerospace engine manufacturer and they have developed together industrial corporation in ring forging manufacturing for commercial engine parts so coming back hall from india and from france it is safran they together recently signed memorandum of understanding and it is to manufacture commercial engine parts correct take a note of this then under this mou remember hall will produce leap engines what are these leap engines leap is your leading edge aviation propulsion engine i repeat hall will produce leap that is 
leading edge aviation propulsion engines for basically in and where they will be manufactured they will be manufactured at bangalore where they will be manufactured they will be manufactured at bangalore correct then if we talk about hall hindustan aeronautics limited who is the chairman and managing director cb ananta krishnan headquarters is in bangalore karnataka in 1964 this was established and if we talk about safran this is a french based company and the ceo here is jean paul alari headquarters in paris france correct next aa jata hai ek joint army exercise jiska naam hai harimau shakti harimau shakti ye ek joint army exercise hai between indian army and आर्मी ऑफ मलेशिया इन दोनों के बीच में भी अभी एक्सरसाइज देखने को मिलेगी जो लोकेशन है वो इस बार इंडिया में हो रही है उमरोई मेघालय में हमें ये एक्सरसाइज देखने को मिलेगी राइट और जो इसका लास्ट एडिशन था 2022 नवंबर में हुआ था वो हमें कहाँ देखने को मिला था वो हुआ था आपका मलेशिया में और इस बार पाँच नवम्बर से ये एक्सरसाइज स्टार्ट होने वाली है टू वीक लॉन्ग ये आपकी एक्सरसाइज रहेगी और कहाँ पर होगी उमरोई मेघालय में ही आपकी एक्सरसाइज कंडक्ट कराई जाएगी फिर इसमें यहाँ पर अगर हम देखें 120 से भी ज़्यादा आर्मी पर्सनल पार्टिसिपेट करेंगे फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड इंडिया की राजपुताना रेजिमेंट इसमें पार्टिसिपेट करेगी फिर अगर हरिमाव शक्ति की बात करें तो ये क्या है इंडो मलेशियन जॉइंट एक्सरसाइज सिंस 2012 ये कंडक्ट कराते आ रहे हैं हम और इसका जो लास्ट एडिशन था हरिमाव शक्ति दो का वो कहाँ पर हुआ था मलेशिया में हुआ था नवम्बर दो में नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट हम बात करते हैं सेकेंड एडिशन ऑफ अ हैकेथॉन हैकेथॉन क्या होता है आपको एक प्रॉब्लम काफ़ी सारी प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट दे देंगे एंड उस प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट में से आपको एक प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट पे वर्क करना है जहाँ पर आप प्रॉपर डिटेल एक अपना जैसे बिजनेस सेटअप कर रहे हैं वैसे करके देंगे जहाँ पर आप सारी उस प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट को सॉल्व करेंगे कि क्या उसके यूज़ केसेज हो सकते हैं कैसे आप उस प्रॉब्लम को टैकल करेंगे कैसे उसको ग्रो करेंगे कैसे उसमें आप उस पर्टिकुलर सेक्टर में इंकॉर्पोरेट करके ग्रोथ लाएंगे राइट तो वो सारी चीज़ें आप इस हैकेथॉन के अंदर देखने को मिलती हैं तो ये अभी सेकेंड एडिशन हुआ था हैकेथॉन का जो कि आर के द्वारा कंडक्ट कराया गया था उसका क्या नाम है हार बेंजर हार बेंजर ठीक है और इस हार बिंजर एक्सरसाइज में आपको याद रखना है ये क्या है इनोवेशन फॉर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन और इसकी एक थीम थी जो है इंक्लूसिव डिजिटल सर्विसेज आई रिपीट इंक्लूसिव डिजिटल सर्विसेज आपकी थीम थी हार्बिंजर हैकेथॉन की जो कि सेकेंड एडिशन था आरबीआई के द्वारा इस एक्सरसाइज को इस हैकेथॉन को कंडक्ट कराया गया था और इस हैकेथॉन में एक प्रपोजल्स आए जिसमें से अट्ठाईस जो पार्टिसिपेटिंग थीम थी ना वो ऑस्ट्रेलिया कनाडा, जर्मनी सिंगापुर स्वीडन यूके एंड यूएसए से हमें देखने को मिले फिर अगर आरबीआई की बात कर रहे हैं तो गवर्नर कौन है शक्तिकांत दास राइट और इन्हीं को अगर आपको याद हो तो ए प्लस की रेटिंग मिली थी एज द गवर्नर फिर इसको आरबीआई को इस्टेब्लिश कब किया गया था फर्स्ट अप्रैल नाइनटीन को इस्टेब्लिश किया गया था हेडक्वार्टर मुंबई महाराष्ट्र में रहे Which country is set to become the third largest electricity consumer globally by 2050? So, as per the data recently released by IEA, that is International Energy Agency, they released their report that is World Energy Outlook 2023, and they talked about the various ecosystem here. Right? They talked about the energy consumption. They talked about various other usage of fossil fuel energy, and here they stated that India. will become the third largest electricity consumer by 2050 mark this it is 2050 correct then this world economic outlook to a world energy outlook 2023 it presents a sustainable change in the global energy system by 2030 we are seeing that the new projects that were related to fossil fuel has been stopped and it is stated that no new fossil fuel project will be coming up but multiple new projects that are related to green energy renewable energy are making into the sector making into the industry right next thing remember here in this world economic outlook we are seeing about the early peak in the fossil fuel usage right that means the usage in the fossil fuels for generation of electricity it is expected that the peak will come for the fossil fuel in the year 2025 which is 2 years earlier than the previously anticipated also coil a uh, coal oil and gas are also projected to peak by 
path and as i mentioned no new fossil fuel project will be coming into the market whereas the investment in the clean energy that is renewable energy and non renewable sources of energy uh, renewable sources of energy will expand and we are seeing that the investment in this sector is increasing almost 2.5 times by 2030 so this is your world energy outlook released by iea and here india will become the third largest electricity consumer globally by 2050 and this will be after china usa and then it will be india on our third position then if we talk about iea international energy agency who is the executive director here fatih birol headquarter is in paris france and it was established in 1974 so here we can see this reports highlights the india's growing electricity demand with an annual growth of around 5% making it the third largest electricity consumer globally by 2050 after china and usa next next is which countries have been recently released or removed from grey list of fatf what is fatf financial action task force and what is grey list it is a list of the country that do terror financing that do tire finance correct so all the countries that do tire finance are basically put into this gray list so recently financial action task force this is the organization that releases this gray list and all those countries that are in the gray list they won't be receiving any funding from any of the big banks or organization for the future development because ultimately what they will where the money will go in for the tire financing then coming back question asked here is that which countries have been recently removed from the gray list of financial action task force so remember cayman islands panama jordan and albania all are these countries that has been recently removed from the fatf's gray list important and on the other hand if the question can also be asked in this way which country has been added to the list gray list so bulgaria has been added to the gray list it has been added to gray list and cayman islands pamnama jordan and albania they have been removed from the gray list of fatf correct next here you can see according to fatf on 27th of october cayman islands was removed from fatf's gray list and here panama jordan and albania were also removed from fatf's gray list whereas bulgaria was added to this particular list and fatf is an intergovernmental body that's it. next next is world steel elects neutron as you can see in the picture here uh, world steel has elected neutron leo topalin as the chairman and tata steels tv narendran as the vice chairman i repeat here you can see recently india's tv narendra who is the ceo and managing director of tata steel limited and choi zong wu who is the ceo of posco holdings were elected as the vice chairman of world steel and choi zong wu who served as the 44th chairman of the world steel coming back remember recently who has been appointed as the chairman of world steel so who has been appointed as the chairman of world steel new course leo topalian right i repeat leon new uh, leon topalian has been appointed as the chairman of world steel and we have seen here that who has been appointed as the vice chairman two individual persons they are tv narendran and second is choi jong wu they both has been appointed as the vice chairman of world steel correct and world steel remember it was founded as an international and steel institute in 1967 and it was renamed to world steel in 2008 headquarter of world steel is in brussels next we are talking about mahabali yard 305 correct remember recently commander sunil kaushik has recently launched 25 t bollard pull tug that is yard 20305 mahabali correct it was recently launched at a shaft shipyard private limited in baruch gujarat these tugs that we are seeing this 25t bollard pull tug these tugs are built under the specification classification 
of the IRS that is Indian Register of Shipping. So under the various classification rules of IRS, these tugs are built and these tugs will improve the operational commitment of Indian Navy by facilitating assistance to naval ships and submarines. They will also provide firefighting assistance to the ships and will have capability to conduct limited search and rescue operations. Coming back, these this particular 25T bollard pulled tug Yard 305 by the name Mahabali. It has been built at a cost of 84.75 crore rupees. And this is in line with Made in India initiative of the government of India. Correct? Mark this. Next. Next is which company is setting up a 6G research and development center in Chennai, Tamil Nadu? It is Ericsson. Right? Ericsson. A Swedish telecommunication company, they have set up a 6G research and development center in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Ericsson is also looking to partner with premier engineering institutes in India for 6G enabled research. And this 6G research and development center in India will be the third search center of Ericsson. Right? Other two centers are one in Sweden and other is in USA. And now third will be in India. And in India too, where it will be? In Chennai. Tamil Nadu. Correct. Next. Next, here you can see Ericsson sets up a 6G research and development center in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Correct. And this will be the third search center after Sweden and USA. Next, China former Premier Li Qiang has recently passed away. As you can see, a Chinese economist and politician who served as the Premier of People's Republic of China from 2013 to 23 has passed away at the age of 68 in Shanghai, China. Correct? Mark this. Next. Next is World Stroke Day. We know in today's generation, many individuals, even young individuals are having strokes. Correct? And this is because of their unhealthy lifestyle. So World Stroke Day, this day is annually observed on 29th of October. And this day is to create awareness about the serious nature and high rates of strokes and effective treatment options that are available to drive action on stroke prevention. The theme for the World Stroke Day is together we can hashtag greater than a stroke. I repeat, together we can hashtag greater than stroke. This is the theme for the World Stroke Day observed on 29th of October. First ever World Stroke Day was observed when in 2006. So for the first time in 2006. Next, International Day of Care and Support. This day is observed on 29th of October. And it is to raise awareness about the caregivings and contributions of caregivers in our life. So International Day of Care and Support is observed on 29th of October. And for the first time, remember, 2023, this is the first time or the inaugural edition of this International Day of Care and Support that is being observed in 2023. Next is your Vigilance Awareness Week. This week is observed from 30th of October to 5th of November, right? So this week will be observed from 30th to October to 5th of November. And remember, this day is observed to promote transparency and ethical practices in the crucial role of vigilance and that prevents various corruptions that are going on correct i repeat this day this week is observed to promote transparency and promote ethical practices in the crucial role of vigilance that will prevent your corruption then vigilance awareness week observed from 30th of october to 5th of november and there is a theme that is say no to corruption commit to the nation i repeat say no to corruption commit to nation this is the theme of vigilance awareness which actor has been named as the national icon for election commission of India in order to create voter awareness? So earlier, if you remember, election commission of India appointed Sachin Tendulkar as the national icon in order to promote voter awareness. And now who is the actor who has been appointed as the national icon here? So he will be Rajkumar Rao, right? He was named national icon for voter awareness and education by election commission of India and in other words, we can say Rajkumar Rao and Election Commission of India, they have entered into a three years agreement, right? This agreement will be for three years. And if we talk about Rajkumar Rao, Rajkumar Rao started his acting career in 2010 and he won the best 
एक्टर अवार्ड इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन ड्यूरिंग द नेशनल फिल्म अवार्ड नेक्स्ट इज यू एस टी हैज वन महात्मा अवार्ड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री फॉर सी एस आर एक्सीलेंस इन कम्युनिटी सर्विस वॉट इज दिस यू एस टी यू एस टी इज अ डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सोल्यूशन कंपनी दिस वॉज रिकॉगनाइज एंड इट हैज बिन रिकॉगनाइज बाई And it is for the corporate social responsibility CSR initiatives for sustainable and impactful contributions to CSR in areas such as education, healthcare, livelihood, environment, and disaster relief. So it is your UST that is one or that has been awarded with the Mahatma Award for impactful CSR activities. This Mahatma Award it serves the to highlight any individual or this award is given to any individual or organization for various. or or for solving various global challenges that will include your poverty hunger education climate change and healthcare correct and this is for the second time remember ust has won this mahatma award for csr excellence in community service earlier it was in 2022 and now it is in 2023 again that ust has won this mahatma award for impactful csr initiatives correct next next is appointment here you can see ms dhoni he has been recently appointed as the brand ambassador of sbi so sbi has appointed ms dhoni former captain of indian cricket team as the official brand ambassador correct apart from this dhoni is also the brand ambassador of pepsico right india's lays reliance industries geomart Oreo, India Cement, Dream Eleven, TVS Motors, Reebok, etc. Apart from this, remember he is also the brand ambassador of Suraj Tractors. Correct. Next, if we talk about SBI, who is the chairman here? Dinesh Kumar Khara. Who is the managing director? Ashwini Kumar Tiwari. It was established in nineteen fifty-five and headquarters is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. next katrina kaif she has been appointed as the brand ambassador of rado right katrina kaif a british indian actor actress who works in hindi language we know about her she have been in various movies and now she has been appointed as the global brand ambassador for rado rado what is it it is a switzerland based luxury watch manufacturer and she has been recently appointed as the brand ambassador of rado apart from this hrithik roshan has been one of the global brand ambassador of rado since 2011 next let's move to the homework section first as per a recent study which indian state has the highest cancer incidence rate in the country second the hostile activity watch karnal that is hawk system this is associated with which state and which force launched this hawk system and what was the reason for launching this hawk system that also you need to tell me third iphone maker vistron approved the sale of its indian unit to which indian company so these are your three homework question friends and i want to see maximum participation from you guys and i want to see maximum to maximum comments maximum to maximum answers of these three homework questions All right so that's all for the day friends and i want to see all the students who have not subscribed to our channel go and subscribe to our youtube channel and i want to see all the students do like this video and subscribe to our channel right that's all for the day thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your 
not issue. 